Think Penridge, I'm Harrison Levin with your weather and lunch for the day. Today is Monday, March 9th, 2020, 86 on your academic calendar. And if you're feeling extra tired, it's because you lost an hour of sleep this past weekend. Today's weather is a high of a 46 and a low of a 25. Today for lunch on this meatless Monday is homemade baked ziti or a veggie burger with steamed broccoli. Hey Penridge, do you want to pie a math teacher of your, your choosing? Well, Pi Day is coming up and you can actually do that. Just bring in a dollar to enter into a raffle to pie any math teacher of your choice. All proceeds go to the Penridge Community Education Foundation. And just a reminder that after school instructional coaching is tomorrow. Please visit Canvas to see what teachers are available and their room numbers. It's now time for Reveal the Ram. Pick up an entry ticket in room 120 to enter. Just guess who is under the ram head. Leave your name and email and we'll take care of the rest. We will collect all of the correct guesses and pick one live on air. The prize is a cameo on the show. Enter today. And hey Penridge, this week is seatbelt safety week. Do you wear your seatbelt every day? If not, you should. Wherever you're headed, there is someone who will be happy to see you there. If you do wear your seatbelt, prove it. On Friday, the first 500 people to show a SAD member a morning selfie wearing a seatbelt will receive a pack of Smarties. SAD members will be wearing black shirts with seatbelts on them. When it comes to driving safely, be smart, Penridge. That's it for me. Now off to Lil Emma at the desk. Thanks, Harry. I'm Emma here with your main office news from the College and Career Center. There are a number of visits scheduled for the week of March 16th. The Navy, National Guard, Lincoln Technical Institute, Jean Madeline, Avita Institute, La Roche University, Rosemont College, and Arizona State University. Please register on Naviance if you would like to attend any of them. A pass will be sent to you the morning of the visit. Please see Mrs. Lewis in the College and Career Center if you have any questions. And attention class of 2020, the Penridge Community Scholarships and Awards are now available. These scholarships and awards Awards are for your graduating class only. An email was sent to your Naviance account with the details for applying. Please review the email and if you have any questions, stop by the College and Career Center, room 354, to see Mrs. Lewis. Thank you. Lastly, Penridge will host the SAT on Saturday, March 14th. Doors will open at 7.45 a.m. and the test will start sharply at 8 a.m. Please be prompt. Late students will not be admitted. Students should enter at the main entrance on the third floor. All students must bring their photo ID, admission ticket, two number two pencils, and an improved calculator. All cell phones and wearable technology will be collected prior to the test. We encourage test takers to leave these items in their cars. Room assignments will be posted outside the College and Career Center, the guidance and main office, and main entry doors. That's it for the main office desk. Now off to sports with Nolan. Thanks, Emma. I'm Nolan Snyder here with your sports for the day. There are no scheduled sports for the day, but senior athletes, be sure to review the list of Penrith Community Scholarships and Awards. In addition to general athletic scholarships, there are awards specifically for seniors involved in football, swimming, cheerleading, girls soccer, band front, indoor guard, and drumline. The debate team won six ballots in the semifinal debate yesterday, including two perfect scores, 40 out of 40. If you see Corey Shipman, Emma Foster, Megan Pohl, and Heidi Swartley, be sure to give them a big congratulations. That's what I call brain sports. <laughs> I also had the chance to cover another edition of the Spring Sports. Enjoy Volume 2. Thanks, guys. I'm Nolan Snyder, back with Volume 2 of your Spring Sports Look Ahead for the 2020 season here at Penridge High School. Leading things off with girls softball. With the departure of several seniors last season, teammates Ashlyn McClelland, Madison Silber, Wiss Chiapetta, and Cameron Romeo, along with returning pitcher Olivia Foster, are hoping to hit the ball out of the park and deliver another strong season. Look for the Lady Rams' first softball game in March at Drunken Miller Park. For girls lacrosse, the girls lacrosse team, last year led by Coach Schnur, is now led this year by Coach Fair. See what I did there? And congratulations to her as well. The team features fellow Rambler Emily Ruddy, along with returning attacks Payne Reimer, Jill Chaser, and Sarah Casey. Defenders Lauren Rush, Maddie Banks, Emily Padva, and Julia Birish. Middies Emily Amston, Amelia Loggery, and goalie Shea Banks. Wow, that's a strong team. Looks like it's going to be another great season for the girls this year. Good luck, ladies. The boys track and field team is led by senior captains Jack Wasserman, Leah McCool, and Bobby Brashear, along with another fellow Rambler, Matt Tomio. The boys look forward to continuing their undefeated consecutive dual meet streak and are going for their seven-peat Suburban One League title. The boys are having an outstanding indoor season so far. Sophomore Joey Gann broke the indoor 200-meter record with a time of 22.2 seconds and hopes to break the 200 outdoor and 100-meter in spring. Additionally, Josiah Landis broke the shot put school record indoor. Congratulations and good luck, boys. The girls track and field team is looking forward to their, to their spring season, finishing up a so far successful indoor season. 
with having all the relay ran this past weekend at the state meet and the 4x800 sets are run at nationals, spring is looking promising. Seniors Kayla Horn, Melissa Szynski, Megan Cronny, and Lexi Kirk are excited. Additionally, returning junior Ashley Gordon, who placed at states last year and was a part of the 4x800, is set to have another great run to states. Follow at PenridgeXC on Instagram, and good luck, girls. That's it for now, but be sure to tune into Volume 3 for even more sports coverage. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nolan. I'm Riley. And I'm Trent. With your teachers and clubs. Inclusion Week is coming. Join us next week, March 16th to the 20th, to celebrate and learn more about each other. Spread the word inclusion is coming to PHS. You can show your support by participating in our Spirit Week, choosing to include others in your daily activities, buying a $10 t-shirt and lunches, and just being your awesome, authentic self. See flyers and posters for more information. And attending class of 2021. Junior Prom is right around the corner April 25th to be exact and we need your help we are currently looking for nominees for the 2020 junior prom court go to the class of 2020 canvas page and complete the survey to put in who you think should be a part of the prom court each of the nominees must be a current Penridge junior note these are not the votes for the actual winners just the formation of the court the polls will be open Monday March 9th through Friday March 13th and lastly, the Class of 2022 Executive Council is doing a Wawa Hoagie coupon fundraiser. The coupons are $4 a piece and good for one shorty hoagie. That's cheaper than the regular price. See Ms. Thompson in room 358 or Ms. Myers in room 349 if you would like to purchase any. Limited quantities available, so act fast because they will not last long. Also, the Class of 2022 Executive Council is hosting a dining fundraiser on Monday, March 30th from 5 to 9 p.m. at The Perk. 10% of the proceeds go towards the class of 2022. There will also be raffle, raffle baskets available. Be sure to save the date and come out to support the class of 2022. That's it for us here at The Daily Ramble. Have a great day and a great week, Penridge.